You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cathan. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with Smapped in Hermerica. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. Might still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been... hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. That is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discounts sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. Wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well... I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? From what Caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The Mother of Demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy, now... I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Guess that's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote, too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, oozing, brain-eating surface. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was... eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Salutations. Good girl, Charlie. Few more missions like that. We just might be friends.
You're looking well, Hunter. You have that, I want to ask you something, but I'm not sure I should look on your face. Go on, ask. What does it feel like to fly? That's not it. You really wanted to ask if Captain Marvel can take you flying sometime. That would be wonderful, if you do not mind. I'll put you down on the list. You are the last Midnight Sun to ask. I'm actually surprised Blade wants some airtime. I'm not. What? Uh, nothing. Okay, then. It's rare that I have that much fun. New York's been through a lot. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. You are welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So, you will be there in spirit? Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit.
<laughs> Yet another victory for the hunter. Damn it. You totally ambushed me with that pair of queens. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd be such a formidable poker player. Yet another reason to respect you. It is just beginner's luck. I'm sure your next hand will vanquish me. There you go again, being all unexpectedly humble and generous. You're a hard demon to dislike, Hunter. Even if you are beating my butt at Hold'em. You do not dislike me, Captain? Don't get too excited. I didn't say I liked you either, but you've got potential. Deal another hand, then? I'm all in. Calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. Uh, and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider knee or two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter, got a question for you. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? When facing a demon, aim for the heart. Always do. And why are you talking to me when you should really be talking to them? Or at least her? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? I have no doubt Carol also appreciates what you bring to the team. I hope so. I try to do my best for my allies. Well, I am sure she is also impressed with your efforts and has noticed you as much as you have clearly noticed her. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Well met. You know what they call me in France? What? Well, nothing. I'm surprised enough when people recognize me outside of Queens. But if they did, you know what they'd call me? No idea. Pierre Parcour.
I like it. What would you be called around the globe? Huh, I don't know. I haven't had the chance to linger in all the places I've been. Oh, there's a Spanish paper in Brooklyn that calls me Aranido. I like that one. Every now and then I hear someone call it out when they spot me. Usually kids, waving their arms off. Always makes my day. Oh, did I tell you Robbie's teaching me some Spanish? Next time I'll be able to say more than just, Yo no hablo espanol. I can't wait till we do this again. My sweet girl. It's been ages. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course, let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. That was a worthy hangout, Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Is that for quality workmanship? I feel like I could automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. Are there any curses I should be aware of? I look forward to researching this artifact further. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. See you, Hunter. I will see if I can find you a treat later. Been watching the way you handle yourself out there, Hunter. You're not bad. I was thinking maybe it's time you and I compare moves. Moves? As in combat? More like a friendly competition. Then I shall defeat you. 
in a friendly way. Tough talk, but can you back it up? Before we begin, is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Now you want to say it or me? Say what? Ding ding. Stay out of trouble. Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future, sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the Chosen One there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a tortured vision book club or something. I'm always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. Hey there. I'm here if you need me. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? You might want to talk to Nico directly. Why? Is she upset? I do not want to speak for her. But... She seemed angry about Wanda. I want to grieve too, but none of us have that luxury right now, or else we'll be grieving the whole world. Thank you for your honesty. I will have to think about how to handle this with Nico. We'll speak later. Feeling good today, girl? You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. 
<laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <sighs> Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish. As are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. <laughs> Thanks, I think. N not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. No, I know magic, right? Oh, now I see what all the fun is. Peace. All right then. Ready to work? See you around. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. Gamma energy signature. The green numbers, as Bruce says. The hydrotech we found is saturated with the same fluorescence. And what does Dr. Banner have to say about that? Can't get an answer from him. He's gone off the grid. AWOL. Happens sometimes when he's working something out. What kind of something? The really big kind. Then what now? We find ourselves another doctor who specializes in creepy gamma science. Just so happens I know of one who recently opened up shop in the area. Of course, he's barking mad. Faustus. One and the same. Well, I suppose you two do have some catching up to do. Oh, you know, Hydra secrets, dastardly plans, the odd bomb launched in my face. How soon before we begin the hunt? Based on the intel we've recovered? Now. My 
old buddy, Dr. Faustus. He'll be thrilled to see us. It is not hard to detect the sarcasm in your voice. You'll be heading into New York near the harbor. Faustus is overseeing Hydra operations in the area. There must be something important down there if he's shown up personally. Stay focused and try and keep a low profile. If you think Lilith's forces are corrupted, you don't want to meet the Port Authority. Very temperamental after such a long journey. My beautiful, terrible girl will be free of confinement soon enough. Pray to unleash Mother's righteous fury upon her enemies. The weak, the ignorant, the unworthy. <laughs> Exactly. Mm. Well, that certainly looks familiar. Dark magic. I can feel it. Just like before. Plus, he's boosted the Gamma Signature. This must be the new and improved Extra Evil model. Ah, yes. Coming soon to a deserted dock near you. So glad you discovered television. <clears throat> Whatever this thing is, it's clearly important to Faustus. And Lilith. Which means, it's worth a closer look. Way ahead of you there. We've seen what those charges are capable of. Don't get cocky just because you've got Captain Marvel to fall back on. No, no, please. Come, examine the device closely. I think you'll find it's not so easy to dismiss this time around. Really wish we could get this clown off our comms. Sure, Mr. Stark will get around to it eventually. More. You're just lucky we aren't allowed to take your life. Get yours. Philip would be embarrassed by your weakness. Arm Alpha, reinforcing. Once my device disintegrates, the great Captain Marvel, the others will have no choice but to listen. Even that fool Crossbones will be forced to acknowledge my greatness. And Mother... Mother will be so pleased when I deliver her your ashes. Not as happy as I'll be when I deliver my fist to your face. You really got a one-track mind.
Watch this. like it hurts. There is no place to hide. It seems they have brought more friends. My role as your mother's herald was foretold. In the sacred pages of the Dark Hold, Hunter. As was your return. Your very life was laid before me. As were the traitorous actions of the one who was guided caretaker. Has she told you of your true destiny, Hunter? Do you not wish to know? I can show you this. And I can show you the true meaning of hell, Parasite. Such strong words for a champion of the light. Zombie has taken such interest in your family. Possibly match your strength. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Position compromised. Barely a scratch. It will all be over soon. If my device can disrupt the molecular bonds within you, Captain Marvel, it will most certainly be able to achieve our true target. The risk is worth the reward. I am certain Mother will understand. Yes, my mother is known for her patience and understanding. Now that's some grade-A hero-quality sarcasm you got going there. You must have detected the latest modifications to my device, Captain Marvel. I'm afraid you'll find her in it is not so easily absorbed this time. No! Please! You, you cannot fail me! Hold you one. <laughs> one?
and thus will be done. Typical. Opportunity to escape. We stand with the mother. You can all join Lilith together. Mercy for the servants of Lilith. Weak, even for Hydra. Speeches, no musings from the Dark Book. Is the great Dr. Faustus at a loss for words? <sighs> any spells for boosting your cardio. Let's grab this turkey before he makes it to the transport. This will have to do. He can regain his bearing. Excellent. Hydra won't let us take him so easily, though. Stay alert. We need to take care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. I 
always hold a grudge. Something is wrong. Damage from the infernal whip must be error in the arming sequence. I know my adjustments should have tripled the disruptor's yield. The next time you will not be so fortunate. Aw, it's almost cute how you think there'll be a next time. Ready up! <laughs> I didn't think I could get any stronger. about for the rest of us. Mike! 
Transport ready! I said now that- Spell it out for you, you're finished. Even your own troops can take the hit. You had your chance to escape. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. You are nothing compared to the things I have seen. And killed! Excellent work. right hand of the demon mother, who hears the whispers of the dark god Cthon, who was chosen to learn his secrets in the one true tome of creation. Do you really think I could be afraid of you? Yeah. What? What? You want to know? Everything. Crossbones. Hydra's Black Ops Black Ops Division. You should see the file Steve's got on the guy. Faustus must have outlived his usefulness to Hydra. And sadly, us. Perhaps not. If decades of fighting the undead have taught me one thing, there's always an answer. Provided you dig deep enough. Nice. Let's get that back to the Abbey. Only maybe wipe it down with a napkin first. <laughs> <laughs>